so that way the nail applies better. So we're going to take pink press on gel, we're going to apply a nice even coat over the entire phalange. And the cupping session was like really fast. Like the lady did it like in 20 minutes, everything. I was like, shouldn't you leave the cups on there for a little while or something? So that way I can kind of like relax. She was like, no, I have another client after you. And I was like, that's my mom, she can wait. And my mom, she got cupping, acupuncture, and guaja, I think it's called or something like that. She basically takes like a wooden spoon or like those old school like bread rollers and she rolls it all over your body. She did that to me for like a little bit, but it made me laugh. It tickled. That is correct. Antonia Cubina Wilson, pink press on gel for the win. I wear press on gel on my natural nails with um, one coat of Dom Top and one coat of Wonder Gel because I like my nails quite thick. And then for the color, we're gonna be using, of course, Chef's Kiss, AKA Telly Pink, AKA Chani Lane Pink, AKA Fantasy Pink. Fantasy Pink is the newest color of the DIY gel. It is the most flattering, most universal shade of pink in the universe and the 15 ml is actually sold out but the 35 ml is still available on the website so we're just going to fill up the contact area and this is the new rolling gel dispenser this is the new gel tube key it stands up it's so fast so convenient and you literally get every single drop out of the bottle. This song isn't very good. Let me change it. to leave a little bit of space in the cuticle area. Freeze it in place for a few seconds so that way it doesn't go anywhere. Have any of you guys seen the Tammy Faye Baker movie yet? Let me know in the comments below. I really want to see it. I'm trying to convince mom to go watch it with me. I'm gonna pull up the comments on this one and see if they come up. Guys, if we reach 100 views, we'll do a giveaway because I have someone here that can pick the winner for me. Took care of that, absolutely. Antonio helps during the video to field questions when he has. Can't read them, that is correct. That is what the Pink Army does. They Take care of my bruise back. I would love a tutorial on removing the one, two, three, go. We have it already on there, Miss Kelly. Just go through the videos. It's very easy to take off. All you have to do is you either file them off or you soak them off or use remover magic. And we have videos on how to do all three. 
Also, if you go on the website and you read the description of the remover magic, it tells you step by step on how to remove them as well, too. Color again, note taking is so slow. And remember, the video will be saved, so if there's something you missed, you can rewatch it as well, too. She's like, I'm late, but I'm here. Better late than pregnant. So we're going to take our fantastic file, now that she's been redesigned. And we're going to make her really nice and sharp. So the nice thing about the XXL stiletto is that you have control either if you want it really sharp or if you want it really, really like more softer, more ovally, more round. It all depends on how you file. She is sharp, ready for Halloween. And we're going to use let's use the power top bit to begin blending in the cuticle. Yeah, don't be mean. So let's blend in the cuticle. And... Get a nice seamless look. The more blended it is at the cuticle, the longer the nail will last. And the more seamless it'll look, it'll look less press on and more sculpted. Do you guys like kale salads? Let me know in the comments. I had a kale salad today, kind of, I think for the first time. I've had kale, like, uh, obviously cooked, but raw in a salad, never again. It's too healthy. It, ugh. I couldn't. It's like eating cardboard. So now I'm going to go in with the verse bit. Like that cuticle. Those bits are the game changers for the fantasy. She's allergic to kale. Uh oh. Is it bitter? Ugh. It, not bitter like arugula. It just was not good. And a little bit too firm, like it wasn't crispy, it was just firm and not tasty at all. So I will not be buying kale salads again. It was kale, I think it had sweet potato, turkey, cranberries, it was very Thanksgiving-y. So remember you guys, a very important uh, mention is that all of our French, all of our ombre nails, whether the French be black or white or the ombre, they cannot be buffed, the top surface, because then you will remove the, the effect. Cause this is hand painted. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to take nail prep and we're going to apply it to the whole top surface of the nail. 
And you know what? To apply the sticker, usually I have used Shiny or Wonder Gel, but today, just to soften it up and just to show you guys the versatility of our products, I'm going to be using the Milky Shiny, which is the a Milky Gel top coat. And I'm going to put this over the whole nail just to soften it. This is really pretty, especially for those that don't like the color of the nail, but I don't know why somebody wouldn't like it. But if you want to soften pretty much any nail, um, one coat of Milky Shiny will do that for you. it will just add a beautiful milky sheer effect to the fantasy see isn't that pretty so soft so lovely let it self level out for a few seconds can only do the sweet kale salad mixes. I have not tried the um, sweet kale. Do I have a remover? Yes, it's called Remover Magic and I have uh, videos on how to use it and also in the product description how to use it as well too. Let's go ahead and bake this for 30 seconds. She's like, I cannot with kale. I agree, don't like. Cooked, it's not bad. But it tastes pretty healthy, it does. Mm. Can't wait for the milky shiny. I get hives. Oh my gosh, that is serious. Every salad mix I see has kale now. I know, it must be either really cheap or like, I don't know why they put it in everything. Like broccoli. Ugh, I can't with broccoli. So we're going to use Halloween set volume two, which is a little bit more oogie boogie. More, a little more scary. We're gonna be doing like the Dexter bloody, bloody nail style today, which is what everybody wanted. And we're going to be using let's do the mouth with the blood in it. Very Halloween-esque, very grotesque. Let's do the dripping blood. And the nice thing about our stickers is it's so thin and flexible, you can layer them without having any issues. Should we do a bloody, let's do the hand holding the heart. Oh, this one is black. Where are my scissors? Scissors, scissors, where they are. Remember you guys, do not apply the stickers too close to the edge because that will cause lifting and wrinkling. I really want to do this M for Morbid, but I feel like it would take away from the design. So as uh, 
maybe Happy Halloween or the Bloody Axe. Let's do the, the tools for the horror movie fantasy. So let's put the bloody knife on here. Design is very out of my comfort zone. It's not very max, but you gotta give the girls what they want. They wanted a very bloody Dexter design. And I do like the ombre underneath as a background because the colors are very soft and it just makes everything pop. So remember, you guys, stickers always look best with two coats of top coat. So we're going to do our first coat of top coat. We're going to use the Dom Top, which is the thick hard gel, to really encapsulate the stickers and give it a 3D look. So this is kind of what it would look like shiny, but we're going to make it matte though. So let's go ahead and bake that 30 seconds. That is correct. Pink press on gel for the win. And I have videos on how I do my nails as well too. There's quite a few of them actually. So now we're going to do a nice coat of velvet matte gel over the whole nail. And you guys know my obsession with velvet on top of stickers. I could have used one with glitter or sequins in it, but I feel like it would have taken away from this design. for about 10 seconds. This is an interesting question. She said when you're applying them, do you leave a thick layer of gel in between? You want to not press hard. You want to float the nail on, almost like if you're frosting a cake. You want that gel to fill in any gaps. If you press down too hard, you're gonna have too much spillage and you're not gonna have enough gel there to hold on. Beautiful. So let's bake that for one minute.
You're welcome. And the matte gel just really makes the stickers look so 3D, and you guys know that we make the best matte gel in the industry, hands down. Velvet gel is so incredible. It will never dull, it will never get oily or streaky or have like a, uh, like a white undertone to it or yellow. There's a lot of mattes that yellow or peel or scratch. You're never going to have any of those issues with matte gel, with velvet. I wanna rock, DJ. Get our cotton candy cuticle oil ready. I need to get a new one because mine is getting empty. DJ. Ooh, it's so cool. What do you guys think? Totally, I agree. Oh, I hope you love everything. I appreciate it, Crystal. And also, don't forget, we also have the BB Ombre Satin Collections, which are velvet gel mixed with glitter and sequins, which are also really beautiful. But I agree, just the matte makes it so dimensional. Wipe. It's starting to come over to the dark arts of the matte gels. To be honest with you guys, I was never a fan of matte. Even though we make the best one, I personally was never a fan of matte nails until I started watching, or seeing, sorry, better, that in Eastern Europe they loved matte nails with um, stickers underneath, or uh, water sliders, decals, water decals. And I was like, hmm. And then I tried it out and I was hooked. I was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And there is the fantasy for today, you guys. So sick. Ready for Halloween. Even if they have a flat nail bed, you would have to put something inside to, um, to fill in the gap. So you can either use nail glue if you're going to be making press-ons, or you can use those double-sided tapes. But the regular coffee nails are uh, natural shaped. Or you could also get like the extreme square, which are super flat, and um, file them. Obsessed. They're so fun. Well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. Don't forget that Halloween set volume one and two are a one-time print only product. So once they're gone, they're gone for good. So make sure you take advantage and get them now before it's too late. And then you're gonna be rocking Halloween nails the day of. And then the next day, it's gonna, everyone's gonna be like, why are you wearing Halloween nails? It's November already. But they are just stunning. And of course, the one, two, three, go. The number one full coverage pre-made gel nail in the industry. And that's going to be a wrap, you guys. And we will see you guys on Monday. Let's try to stay out of trouble. Bye, everybody.